welcome back to World Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. If you guys have a Chevy vehicle and you're trying to disconnect the transmission lines from the cooler, guys, we'll show you how to do that. You don't need any special tools, but many people ask us how you disconnect transmission lines on Chevy vehicles. Stay with us, guys. Let me introduce you to the channel quick, guys. We we'll have more than 200 videos on our channel on every car we get every car we get at least 200 videos will be made why guys because our mission is to save you as much money as we can by providing free videos to you all we need in return guys like and subscribe also we just started a brand new channel electrical car repair life for all the work including testing modules um, electrical components codes and stuff like that so check it out guys please subscribe now this is the transmission Okay, this is the radiator, transmission cooler is right here, you have two transmission lines, one on top, one on bottom, and <clears throat> both of them guys, you practically remove them the same way, and let us explain how now. Okay, you don't need any special tools, okay, you need to grab that thing, okay, pull it out, okay, like that. Now inside, okay, right here you have one spring guys, and that spring looks like this one here. And this spring you have to hold it with one hand so it doesn't fly away. Spread it a little bit on the bottom side. Okay, so you can stick your screwdriver in and pull it out. Once you do that guys, okay, you're going to pull the transmission line up and get it out. It might be a little bit stuck, why? Because you have a o-ring right here guys and that could be a problematic o-ring that could be a place where you can develop leaks in the future and later when you install it okay let me explain when you install it you need to make sure you push it all the way in okay and why because the locking spring actually goes on top okay right here and if it's on the other side the line will come loose and you will lose your transmission so push it all the way in install the spring Okay, and before we guys install that plastic cover, I'm going to move it to make sure that everything's good. You can actually see the lip, everything's perfect. And install your plastic safety clip there. So that's how you guys do it on Chevy vehicle. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.